right, y'all. Welcome back to Real South Hunting. Season seven, man, and what a start. Uh, the kids is going up to Kansas. Misty Morning Outfitters to start a youth hunt, and let me tell you what, just sat back and watched. They had one heck of a hunt. Oh my goodness, I have got brave. Trent is driving me, and we are going to meet Saliba right now. And we are headed to Kansas for a youth hunt. First hunt of the season. Trent's ready. This is gonna be his last youth season. So we stopped at JTBS Guide Services to get a head start on the trip and head to Kansas the next morning. We're about to get on the road again. Go to Kansas. Folks already made it in here. Looks like old Jay Paul made it. We got Matt right. over here doing something. Finally got out of the trip. Ethan, you been asleep or what? Nice, no, sir. Good. Long man. <laughs> Couldn't feel my legs. Logan. Yes, yeah, sir. What about it? I had to be out the truck. Long drive. Yeah. Hey, Andy, how are you, bud? How are you? Good. Matt. Trip How are you? We know about it. Not much. Gentlemen. Michael Slew. Matt. Logan Slew. I won't ever remember all that. But... <laughs> okay. Start with me. What's my name? Big A. Big a. <laughs> yeah, we're just uh, putting together a rack. A hauler? It's, it's rated for 500 pounds. Matt said he got a deer out there that's got 350 pounds. Got a little <laughs> obese deer. <laughs> so, <laughs> said it's rated for 500, we'll see how it works. Finish that up, you guys, we'll just go ahead and go shoot real fast. And I don't know how long it's going to rain tomorrow, so we might as well do it. What you been doing? I've been chilling. Been chilling. There you can. It is. So when we get there, we meet Mr. Matt and go shoot our guns. So the first night we were there, after we got our rifle sighted in, Matt's son Ian had a football game. And let me tell you, if you hadn't went and watched Kansas football, you need to go see. Not good? Definitely not good. Not good. I'm doing halftime interviews. Uh, it was a good time. We, we had a ball. Uh, it was not the results Ian would have liked, but uh, it, it was a fun time and uh, getting getting to see Ian play football. I'm sure he enjoyed all of us being there and uh, we, we really enjoyed that. Before the hunt, we have a safety meeting and Mr. Matt shows us some of the target deer we're going after. What's up, people? Y'all ready to go hunt? Me too. That's right. Big deer. We're going to skin seven or eight big bucks tonight. Okay. Now we're getting ready to go hunt and Mr. Matt starts showing us pictures of these uh, deer that he has on trail camera. And it's some of the biggest deer I've ever seen in my life. That was yesterday afternoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they just come out and just get out amongst that field. The spot that I'm hunting at is a big soybean field that a lot of big deer have been coming in. So Mr. Matt gets us set up in some tall grass on the side of the field. First afternoon, first set. We just got in here in this grass blind. Ethan is ready to pull the trigger. So an hour passed and some deer started coming out way across the field. Trying to stay 
And there's a big six point that my dad was having a fit over. But I had my big 10 point. And then all of a sudden my dad starts freaking out. So there's my target buck, so it's showtime. The madness that went down when this buck stepped out of the woods, it was chaotic. Like, Ethan was sitting far back in this brush, so he couldn't see him. This grass was real tall and thick, and the deer was far down to our left, and Ethan really couldn't see him, so we had to move him up to the edge of the field. And I'm telling you, my heart has never been beating this hard in my entire life. Come here. What in the world have you done? You just shot one? Good grief, a big one? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Oh, there's blood right there. Yeah, there's some right here. Look, laying right there. What? Oh, my goodness. What? Oh, my goodness. Go look at him, E. What have you done? Go look at him, E. What's up? You're right, he didn't go far in. Go on, Hammer on. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Good grief. Oh my god. He's still in velvet a little bit. That dude is a hammer. Oh, just barely keep him oh, up. My. Oh my gosh. Oh man. What in the world? Break that green deal off your hand there. What have you done? I'm going to break it down. Oh my gosh. Alright. Ethan, you have no idea what you have done here. That dude is a hammer. Good dude. This is kind of an emotional time right now. It's starting to set, set in what he has done here. Man, I don't, I don't even know. Like, we were watching deer, cutting up, talking, having a blast, sitting there. And, uh, we were actually getting ready to shoot another deer. Like, there was a deer coming toward us, another 10 point, probably in the 140s, maybe 150. We were first ones right out the gate, and I uh, want to thank Matt for, you know, he, he knew what this deer was doing. He called him old Longhorn. He had beams that come way out and curved up, and man, he put us right on top of him. Man, I'm specious about this deer. Hunting Kansas, it's always been a dream of mine. I've seen all the big deer Mr. Stubbs has brought back home from Kansas, and I've just wanted to go up there ever since. Well, we got a, we got a giant I'm about to go try to kill. Really? Mm -hmm. It's pretty big. What is it? Like a 12 point, 10, 10 point. 10 point. I think it was 10 point. Are you ready? Let's get it done.
So we look over when Mr. Matt said the deer is going to be coming out, and sure enough, there are deer coming out. But we look over to our right where they had to cut corn, and they're just deer just start piling out. Now we got the binoculars up, and we could definitely tell that this deer was mature. He was shooting size, but we couldn't tell if it was the deer that Mr. Matt wanted us to go after. And it was starting to get dark. The deer had come out at 600 and worked to about 300, and we decided to let him go for the night. Seeing that big buck, man, that got us fired up. So the next morning, I got to talking to Matt and showing him the footage, so things started happening pretty quick then. We went and made a plan to build a blind and uh, get it all set up where me and Trent can get a little closer to where the buck came out and uh, hopefully get a shot. Got this right here. I don't know, just worked up from the mount. Came out here, put in an interesting stand together. We built a blind out of wire and cedar limbs was taken to the field that day. Why are we doing this? Got Gotta try to kill this monster buck we're after. Have you seen the video? Some of these custom, gonna give them a shout out, Alvin's Island hunting chairs here. This hunt's brought to you by Alvin's <laughs> Island. <laughs> You don't understand how big this deer is. Is it like real big? I ain't seen a good, a good like. You saw a good look at Ethan, didn't you? Yeah. This deer is bigger than Bigger than Ethan. Yeah, he's, he's a good one. Yeah. Let's pull that one. Talk to us. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Hey, that here like sardine. saw a doe and a four point come out of the cut corn to our left. And then I happened to look over to our right at the same time the target buck came out. And I told my dad about it, but I guess he was looking at the four point. And he did not believe me. That deer's big. He's really big. Holy crap. I heard it snaking. <laughs> Is he down for sure? Yeah, he's down right there. You see him right now? Yeah, he's down like right there. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. Tell me what just happened. I just shot a giant. Tell me about. Oh my God! Are you sure that was the right dude? Yeah, yeah. You got a good look at him. Yeah. 
He's like this. Are you serious? Yeah. His times are like that. Almost got away from us. Uh, yeah, he came out right here and Trent was saying, there he is, he's in the back. And I was looking at these deer coming out this way. I was like, that's a four point. And uh, all of a sudden he walks through the street. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. He's a hammer. Oh, oh Trent. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh wow. Well. Y'all can't look. Y'all can't look. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> what have you done, Trent? I don't even know. What have you Oh my gosh. Trip. I don't even know. What have you done? I don't even know. He's too big. That is a toad turbo. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a monster. Oh my Holy god. Cow. I don't even know what to think. Oh wow. Let me just tell you, this deer almost got away from us. I don't even know what to think. He's he's so big. He came in here at the same spot, but it was about 500 yards away from where we sat this evening, behind some stumps. And the deer came out about 750 yards away, first spot we saw them, and then they worked their way slowly to about 350. And we got in our mind that we knew where we needed to go. It's just a matter of if we could do it. I want to give a big thanks to Misty Morning Outfitters for having me out to come to this youth hunt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Well, it was a crazy moment there for a little while in the blind, but man, it is a memory that we're going to remember the rest of our life. What a heck of a hunt. These kids have really got to kill some big bucks to get better than this. So one heck of a show. A big shout out to Misty Morning Outfitter. Me and Brooke standing there and we were gonna try to hold on to the front of the four-wheeler. That didn't work. Big Matt was telling little Matt, just give it some gas. Give it some gas. <laughs> so little Matt gave it some gas. <laughs> what happened then? Yeah. <laughs> he flipped the four-wheeler with the deer and all on it. Thankfully we didn't tear up the velvet too much. We did tear it up a little bit, but uh, after that, the four-wheeler kind of tore up. Big Matt said he'll just take it around. Roll it. All right. Hey, hey, hey! <laughs> All right, we might back it down just a little. What do you think? Look, that, that's over the top. Okay. They, they, they feed us good up here. Mr. Morton Out feeds us, feeds, feeds us really, really good. No, I don't feed you good. I mean, they had us steaks last night. Whenever we go down there. I want to give a massive thank you to Turner Brothers Taxidermy. Awesome deer mount. Looks amazing. Couldn't ask for any better, to be honest. Still over here having fun, even when we're home from Kansas. Over here shooting commentary. Doesn't get any better than this. Had to get my buddy Tyler to talk. He don't like talking on camera. And Logan, he was just so serious. It's okay, though. Got my deer back.